It's 2023, and we're already off to a good start with layoffs, abounding, stores closing, and much more. We're going to be getting into a lot in this video, folks. This is Tony. Hope you're all doing better than me. My voice isn't doing the best right now, but we'll get through this video as it is anyways, folks. Walmart, of course, you saw at the latter end of last year, closing hundreds of stores. You might have remembered these uh, articles coming out about this. And of course, on top of that, you had Walgreens and CVS closing thousands of stores. And I told you guys that there's going to be far more happening in 2023. And we're already starting to see it. In 2023, we're already starting to see uh, thousands upon thousands of layoffs all within the last day or two. We have here 63% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. That includes six-figure earners, believe it or not. Over half of six-figure earners are living paycheck to paycheck, which is absolutely amazing. I don't know how you can manage that. But looking at the prices of things of recent, I'm not exactly super surprised. Of course, like I said, we're, we've been seeing a lot of things happening at the tail end of 2022 and also starting already into 2023, we're already seeing almost as many layoffs in one month of January as compared to the entirety of 2022 in the tech sector. And they're saying that this is the canary, folks, for the rest of the labor market. And that's what I've been saying. That's what I was saying in 2022. And I mentioned that there's a number of things that were going sideways or that were going the wrong direction already and you can see here is one example u.s retailers unusual request to suppliers stop sending new products that was at christmas <laughs> you might have saw a video I, I covered that at least in one video uh at the end of last year about the fact that retailers were getting no sales even at christmas and i'm like they're doing layoffs no sales on black friday what do you think is going to happen when we have the worst uh, three months of the year, which is January, February, March. What do you think is going to happen? Uh, way more of what we saw. And this is going to lead into what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about Walmart, some of the stuff going on there, which I think you might be really interested in seeing. We'll be talking about that and so much more in this video. Like I said, we're seeing very strange things. The worst uh, month of sales, uh, I think it was in... in I can't remember how long it was, but it was like the worst month of sales in a decade or something. And I'm like, how is that possible in November? How is that even possible when that's supposed to be when sales are supposed to pick up? And so we're seeing, of course, this inventory. They're not interested in the inventory. We're going to be getting into that and all this more. What's going on with Walmart? Some rather curious things I discovered and so much more. Before we do that, folks, I got to I got to mention these things here, folks. Food supply, 25 year shelf life might want to get it. Um, there's been interesting dreams about Walmart. I've seen some interesting videos about supermarkets where they have literally no, of course, food, but they have all the other items. You got vacuums. You can buy vacuums. You can buy TVs. You can buy whatever you want, chairs, but no food. Sounds like a great thing, don't it? Not really. And it actually makes sense when you start thinking about it a little bit. Okay, and it might have something to do with the fact that we had inflation that's been going up uh, very quickly over the last two years, and it seems to not be really slowing down much at all. And the fact that they don't make any money off food. Walmart makes no money off food, and they were complaining that people were just buying food. So they're like, maybe we should just get rid of it. Or maybe there'll be limited amounts of food because of the, the farming season Last summer was very poor, uh, literally half as much rice in California, almost. And oranges was the same thing. Very, very bad in that respect. Also, you had that WAR that was uh, getting in the way with seeds and other things. But obviously, we're seeing some very different things of recent. You definitely want to get yourself some food supply if you haven't already, folks. Link is in the description for it. 
And actually, you're saving 388. They actually put this in there. It's literally the lowest price, like I said, in two years. It's been this for two months now. And they're even giving away uh, some free items now. They're adding even more. So they got these water filters. What else? They're adding in a stove light. Wow, they're adding in a lot of stuff. They're actually adding a ton of extra stuff for free on the end of it. You definitely want to get that if you haven't. That's three months worth, of course. You can get one month worth for 177 I believe it is. Link is in the description for that, folks. And, of course, also um, this book here, The Lost Ways, How Our Great Great Grandfather Lived Without Electricity, How to Build a Cellar, How to Do Things Around the House Like They Did in the Old Days. You might want to know how to do that, <laughs> considering what we've been seeing the last couple years. It's only like 30 some dollars. Get the printer version, obviously, especially if you don't have electricity. We just had a new story come out regarding the Ruslans. And their latest, of course, technology. I told you guys about their wonderful technology that can make, of course, very large waves, 500 foot tall. Well, apparently, they just had a story come out saying they just got their first round of them in place and ready, folks. Wow, sounds like fun. Can't wait to surf that wave, right? <laughs> Not really. Um, that That's, of course, something to think about. And, of course, also, I have gold and silver below if you want to get that. And also, of course, my website where I put up a lot of videos every week. I put up videos that are exclusive to my website and I'm coming out, I'm actually working with a guy right now to build an app to where I can send cell phone notifications to you. You can download the app, see all my social media in one place and get notifications on your phone at any time. We'll be we're working on that right now. It might be done in a few months, all right? Of course, before then we have my website, and it's going to have this on there. It'll have Wix, it'll have Twitter, it'll have Rumble, it'll have YouTube, it'll have all that on my app once it comes out. That'll be later this year. But right now, I have my website. We're going to put forums over here soon here as well. It's four ninety five a month. First month is free. You can over just go over here and go to free videos if you want to do that as well. You can create an account. Like I said, I'll have forums later this year as well and an app. It's all We're working on a lot of stuff here, folks. All right? We're working on a lot of things. Links are below for everything. All right, let's get back to the video. So we're seeing almost like they want to make this economy fail, folks. Almost like they don't want you to have a job. And you're going to be happy because you won't be able to afford anything, of course, as well. You'll be eating crickets. It'll be super fun, as you can imagine. Now they're talking about roughly one in three workers are worried about a layoff. And now we're starting to see it. This one month alone, January, we're seeing almost as many. I think it is pretty much the same. If I recall, I think it's almost this number already, folks. We're getting close to this number already in January. This was last year. They had 70,000 tech layoffs for Google, Microsoft, and Amazon. Right now, Google's laying off 12,000, Microsoft 10,000, Amazon 18,000, and it's their second round on Amazon. And they say other tech companies on this article. I think it's probably near 70,000 already for this one month compared to last year. So they already have as many layoffs this one month of this year as all of last year. And I said that's what's going to happen. And you're going to see way more of it as we go along. And they're talking about that this may be the canary, folks, that we're going to see this with the entire labor market. You're going to see layoffs everywhere, okay, for the U.S. labor market. This is what Morgan Stanley is saying. Okay, so you're seeing all these things happen. You're seeing, of course, food, you know, shortages. They were talking about grocery stores soon. And this was at the end of last year in December. They were talking about the fact that we have all these issues. And I just mentioned this earlier about rice. They literally had half a crop for rice, half a crop for uh, oranges, and a lot of other things as well. All across the world, there was a lot of issues with farming Last summer, of course, that's just going to add insult to injury with prices in the stores, with inflation. You're going to be seeing double, triple, quadruple prices. And one of the things I predicted would happen, already happened, I said that uh, your your electric bill, your uh, energy bill is going to go up double or triple. And I said that's going to happen in the winter. And now we're seeing confirmation of it in California then their natural gas prices are double to triple what they were already. And we're not seeing it everywhere else yet, but I told you guys, I saw it on the curve. Maybe you're going to see it in a month over where you're at. I don't know. We'll see. But let's get, let's get back to the Walmart thing. Now, interestingly, Sam Walton was in 
the military. That's something a lot of people are not aware of. Sorry about my throat there. I was making a weird noise. <laughs> Can't just ignore that, can we? Um, at any rate, so and my voice isn't doing too well anyways. I, I, I don't know what happened. Honestly, I am actually feel fine. I don't know why my voice is like this. It's really, and I, I saw some other YouTubers having the same exact issue. It's really kind of strange. But of course, he has a lot of, you know, ties to those that are in that particular realm, which is something to consider considering what we've been seeing of recent years with Walmart and other, also other supermarkets that they have now been putting in, the, in this advanced technology, of course, into their cameras to where it can actually pre-know if you're going to do something. It actually reads how you're walking, how your face mannerism, mannerisms are to see if you're going to, of course, take something. And they're actually trying to do like that one movie or uh, with Tom Cruise in it, Pre-Crime. I can't remember what that movie is called. They're trying to do that stuff already. That was one of the things that came out, I think, a, even a year or two ago. That was one of the things. But we have some other things that I've recently discovered. And some of this has been around for a while. They have under, of course, ground you know, system. People have talked about this. This is for transporting goods, which is very curious because it seems to be sort of one of those things that's kind of uh, under a shroud of mystery, as from what I can tell. And, uh, you know... I've seen movies or videos about this. This guy's driving literally through it with uh, something that he had gotten from uh, a Walmart delivery load. It was like 40-some thousand pounds. And he's going through underneath the ground for miles and miles and miles. They have these various... Um, I, I They connect cities with these. There's actually uh, some very long ones. They're even almost 100 miles long. And... It's sort of exclusive for certain semi-truck drivers that are actually able to do these type of deliveries. But a lot of people are completely unaware that they even exist. And then, of course, also there's been a number of videos that have come out showing these odd containers at some Walmarts. And they're usually behind a fence. Uh, this guy's sort of showing through the fence what he had saw. Uh, he went up to the fence like this. And there's actually like this... This strange, uh, uh, no, I wouldn't, I would, I don't know what you would call it, but he basically goes over here, and there's like this weird entrance area that just looks weird as well, and you can see it's got some odd things on the door as well. It, it is really kind of weird, you know. I mean, look at this stuff. Look at what's in here. Look, look at all the stuff uh, listed on this area, on this door for the entrance. So you got, and there's actually a number of Walmarts that have these at their locations, and, and people are kind of wondering what that is. I honestly don't know what it is. <laughs> but we do know that, uh, actually it's been many years now, I think five or ten years, that they've been doing this preparedness, of course, in response. And, you know, whether there's some sort of weather thing or something else. And what's interesting, of course, is it also went into that whole thing with the arm, you know, which he had in the last couple years, which is kind of interesting as well. So it makes you kind of wonder what direction they're trying to take that. Um, it's really curious. And of course, Walmart's been warning about closing more locations due to looting. And we're seeing that with also other stores. And they're saying, and we even saw this at the end, tail end of last year, billions of dollars worth of merchandise, of course, taken and now it's actually even increasing. And I was saying this is going to increase because you're going to have more layoffs. You know, inflation's going up. It's still, technically, it's it's sort of leveled off right now, inflation, because of the Fed uh, raising rates so much. But actually, it, it just leveled off. It, it, it means it's still the same level, which has been a very heightened level for two years straight already. At And of course, this is based on their funny math. 7%, which is probably probably actually double what, the, what it really is. It went up 14% a year, I think, personally, or even more. And especially when it comes to food, it's even higher than that. But they just tell you it's 7%, which I kind of doubt it is 7%. It's probably more like 14 overall and probably 30% with food because you've seen the prices of food. I mean, I just went to a restaurant today, and it was a drive through fast food restaurant, and it was over 50 bucks. I'm like, what happened? What did, what did I do? I'm just buying some food. I actually bought the wrong thing. I actually bought uh, uh, 
chicken fingers, and this place charges over two dollars a chicken finger. We were trying to buy twelve chicken nuggets, and it was twelve chicken fingers for twenty eight dollars. I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? And I just couldn't believe how high the price was. It was just unbelievable. I couldn't even believe it. But I was like, oh, okay, never mind. It's you know mistake. I didn't want to go back and return it or whatever. But at any rate, you get the idea. There's obviously a lot of, of things like that. And then, of course, you have things like San Francisco uh, wanting to approve using certain types of robots, okay, uh, various California departments. And that's my other camera, which I'm not using. <laughs> Clicking the wrong button here. But where could this lead? Robots that can, you know, take, as you would say, out you and I like this. Why would they want that? Why would they need that? And I mean, all these things, you can sort of add them up and see where they could go. And of course, considering what the world of, you know, economic, of course, forum has been saying, particularly of recent, it makes you really wonder what that really entails, what that is literally going towards. And like I said, we also have here, you know, half of Americans are employed by small businesses and more than a third of U.S. small businesses couldn't pay the rent, and this is last year, all in October. So I'm guessing they're not doing much better right now. I'm guessing they're probably a third or maybe it's now a half of small businesses can't pay their rent. And if you think about it, half of the employees are of, of the US of A are from small businesses. If they can't pay their rent, how are they gonna continue to pay you as well? So that's another thing to think about as well. Um, at any rate, it obviously they, they consider you more important than their rent. But you know what I mean? If you can't pay rent, you don't have a place to work. You know what I mean? So kind of an important factor. Um, hopefully they got enough money from Christmas to like kind of, you know, at least stave that off for a little while, which is probably the case. But for how long is the question? And like I said, we have manufacturing completely down in countries that we heavily rely upon. All these things together makes you wonder what it really entails and what it means. Kind of wonder what some of you guys think. Let me know in the comment section below and thanks for watching.